Many of you may have been thinking, hey, where can I get a bunch of money in this game considering that the confusion method has been nerfed? And this nerf to the confusion farm method is that whenever you inflict confusion on a memento's boss now, if it's confusable, it now only lasts for one turn rather than two turns. So now you have to reconfuse it, which takes a little bit more time now. And even so, it's all about the RNG, whether it drops money or not, because sometimes it might not even drop money, it drops an item or it just skips a turn entirely. And because of this nerf, it got me thinking is there possibly a more reliable way of getting a bunch of money in this game and I think I might have found it so in my last couple of videos I keep using and talking about Ryuji's insta kill in this game how it's really good because of how it got buffed that when you insta kill an enemy you get the experience the money and the items from it unlike in vanilla where you just got the possibility of getting a persona I was thinking okay how much money can I get if I do a run on a floor just instant killing enemies. So I chose the very first floor of the I Yatsbus block and I killed about 10 enemies. That's how I'm gauging it. So with 10 enemies that I instant killed, I got 6,726 yen. This is without anything, this is just instant killing. All right, so what can we do now to boost that? So if you have that free DLC that includes all the vanilla costumes and the vanilla personas, we are given an accessory that can boost your money, which is the C's armband. It will net you 15% more money gain. I decided to do it again with this accessory equipped. I killed 10 enemies and I got 7,896, which, you know, if I did 15% more of my original amount, yeah, that's, it's roughly how much that comes out. And the results will vary only because certain mobs will net you more money because they're a bigger mob. All right, let's boost this again, but let's try to use the Mementos upgrade. And by the Mementos upgrade, I mean that Jose's where you collect stamps and you can upgrade your experience, money, or item gain. So let's increase our money to rank one. So that's an additional 10%. So we're sitting about an additional 25%. So I went back and I killed 10 more enemies and I gained 9,456. So from our original amount of 6,726, we pretty much grabbed half of that amount and added that. It's pretty good now. We're sitting at almost gaining 10,000 per 10 enemies. Not bad. So let's stop doing small increments. How about if we have rank five of the Mementos upgrade for money? This will jump our gain from killing 10 enemies to 16,972 yen. That's an entire 10,000 more than our original amount. So now we're getting somewhere. But Sony and Cat, let's stop kidding around. What is the most maximum output? What's everything you can do to gain as much money as you can? Well, with the 15% accessory equipped and the mementos upgrade to 100%, the last thing you can do is if you get Chihaya, which is the fortune confidant, to rank 3, you can buy the money fortune telling. If you do this before your mementos run, you will gain an additional double money gain from all out attacks. Now, what's weird and what's cool too is that Ryuji's insta kill counts as an all out attack for whatever reason. So you can additionally double your amount with this fortune telling. So I went back one more time. This is our last test. We gained, and I didn't even kill 10 enemies because it's blatantly obvious you're gaining so much money. This is for, from five enemies, give or take, that I killed. 46,951 yen. It's a lot. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of yen. So let's actually test this out the where I'm currently at. And I'm currently at the Ad Yesach block, and I decided let's go to one of the lower levels and see how much I can get. So I just run through the level and it takes me about a minute. I just go through it like normally looking for stamps, looking for chests and just instant killing enemies that I see. And in one minute, I earned 94,820 yen, at least in this floor. And this is not even the most deepest floor of Mementos, so you can potentially gain more. So personally where I'm at, at this point of Mementos, I am gaining 100 k per minute roughly, give or take, as long as I'm getting that average amount of 100K per minute. So in 10 minutes, I will have a million yen. So in my opinion, I think this is the most convenient 
and fastest way to get money in Persona 5 Royal. Only because you don't have to go out of your way to build a confusable persona and dump money into that. All you have to do is just play the game, honestly. You just get Ryuji to rank 7, you level up the Mementos upgrade of money to 100%, and then, you know, maybe you didn't know about Jihaya, so you get Jihaya's buff, and there you go, you just play Mementos, just play through, and you're gonna see your income just jump dramatically without even trying. So if you think you got a better method, share it down below because I am open to seeing what else we can do to gain money to upgrade our personas. So I thank you so much for watching and as always, stay salty.